Hello everyone. Welcome to my first video for chapter two. This is lesson one, or sorry, 2-1, using inductive reasoning to make conjectures. Our objective for today is to use inductive reasoning to find patterns and make conjectures, and also to find counterexamples to disprove conjectures. First, a couple of vocabulary terms. Inductive reasoning is a process of reasoning where you look at patterns to decide on a conclusion. This is like saying my son's lunch uh, at school last Friday was pizza and the Friday before it was pizza and the Friday before that it was pizza. So I'm pretty sure that this Friday he's also going to have pizza. You'll notice that I looked at a pattern to decide on a conclusion. A conjecture is the conclusion statement that I believe is true based on my deductive, my inductive reasoning. So in my example, my conjecture is I'm pretty sure that he's going to have pizza on Friday. That is my conjecture. A counterexample is an example that disproves a statement. It could be a drawing or a statement or a number. And I have an example here to look at with you. For example, if three points are always on a plane, or three points on a plane always form a triangle. So let's think about that. Three points on a plane always form a triangle. That seems to be true, but can you think of an example where it's not true? Hmm. Well, what if the points were all collinear? Aha. Then I don't have a triangle. So my counter example is this. They are three points that are on this plane, but they are not forming a triangle. They are collinear. Collinear. Okay, next we're going to look at what, how we use inductive reasoning. So there are three steps for inductive reasoning. First, look for a pattern. Next, make a conjecture. And last, prove that the conjecture is true or find a counterexample. Okay? And then the last part of this is to fill in the boxes down below. See if you can fill these in based on these steps from above. So use these steps up here to fill in these four boxes down here. That was a really quick lesson today. We'll be going over some more examples in class.